Hey everyone, my name is Katie and this year I'll be helping to teach you some art. Throughout this year, we will be discussing the elements of art, which include texture, line, form, shape, space, value, and color. Today we will be focusing on texture. Our art project today is inspired by an artist named Michael Albert. Michael Albert is known for his pop collage art with cereal boxes, known as serialism. It all started with his reluctance to throw away a box of frosted flakes. Pop art is art based on popular culture or media. The materials you will need for this project include a cereal box, scissors, construction paper, and glue. The first step in this project is to cut out the cereal box. Now, some cereal boxes you may only be able to use one side, so only one person can use the cereal box. Other cereal boxes, like the one I'm using here, has two usable sides. Now it's time for the fun part, cutting out the pieces. I think of this project as the opposite of putting a puzzle together, as we're creating the puzzle pieces and then making our own puzzle of something completely different than what we started with. Now you can cut out any shapes, like triangles, squares, rectangles, circles, whatever you want. Just try to cut out bigger pieces in the beginning because it's easier to cut out little pieces from those later. If you want to save any of the original elements of the cereal box, like the title or the picture showcase, then cut bigger pieces so that it's easier to put back together. Or you can even make one big piece, like one long piece of the word Cheerios, for example. Or like what I did is I cut bigger pieces, but put them together so that when I do it again, I can still make the word Cheerios, but maybe it just looks a little different. Now it's time for the fun part. We're gonna be actually making the puzzle. So I started with the part that I wanted to be clear when my piece was done, the word Cheerios. And as you can see, I still made it clear what the words are, but maybe just a little distorted. So you can go with that. You can also make Cheerios very clear, or you could put like it scrambled throughout the entire page so you have no idea what it's supposed to mean. It's all up to you and your interpretation of how this scrambled puzzle should be. Next, I'm working on the picture of the heart of the little Cheerios and strawberries. Now, I wanted this one to be a little scrambled more and a little more confusing to the viewer. So it's like, what exactly am I looking at? I started with big pieces and worked my way in to see where each piece could go. Once you get to the end, it may be a little harder to find pieces and where they can go. And that's when you can start to cut the pieces in order for them to fit. The cool thing about this project is even if we started with the exact same cereal box, the end result is going to look very different. Now, as you can see here, I'm finding it harder and harder to find pieces that will fit into the slots already available. And so I'm cutting the pieces I have and making them a little smaller in order for them to fit in the holes I have. I want you to try and fit as many pieces as you can into your final work of art. That way, there's as little gaps as possible and it will look its best. Of course, you're going to have some scraps left over and that's okay. I ended up making two examples of this project, and I love how different they both are even though I started with the exact same thing. I hope you guys love this project as much as I did, and I can't wait for our next one.